Hi, my name's Ben. I'm going to be showing you a demo from the digital chapter from the book The Artist's Guide to Drawing Manga. So this is going to be covering the sketching stage, moving on to inking, then laying the initial flat colours, adding shadow and lastly rendering and also adding the final touches. And to save hours of sitting through the video in real time, I'm going to speed up the process. So at the moment I'm starting with the sketching within Photoshop. This is where I plan my initial layout, pose of the character and work out what they're going to be doing and what they're going to look like. Most of the time I start with a stick figure, basic shapes and light rough lines to get the general composition of the figure in place. Because I'm designing an original character it's a case of experimenting and making constant adjustments until I'm satisfied with how she's looking. Then I begin refining the sketch and progressively adding more detail. And after a couple of hours I'm done with the sketching. So next is the inking stage and for that I've used Paint Tool Sci, which I prefer for inking since it has a nice little line stabilisation feature. Inking is basically a case of creating smooth clean line work from the sketch and I do this mostly for a better overall finish and it also makes colouring a little bit easier later on. So I start by zooming into the image, the more I zoom the better the accuracy I have for placing lines. And it's basically a case of moving from section to section of the drawing, adding black lines onto a new layer above the sketch. And tapering the lines to create nice crisp points and making the outlines a little bit thicker towards the outer edge to help make her stand out. Once again I'm going to speed up the process.
So speeding through the flatting process now, I use a combination of Photoshop's Magic Wand tool and the brush to apply the base tones. Each colour has its own layer which makes shading and rendering a lot easier later down the line. Now I start to add the first wave of shadow tones. I'm using a centre left light source and placing darker tone for each colour towards the outer edge. If I were going for an anime cell style of colouring I'd just stick with this technique of adding flat block shadows to the character. And now I begin softening and blending these shadows to create a nice smooth airbrush shading effect. I usually start with the skin tone before working my way through each individual colour layer. Once I get the skin shading looking good it's a case of repeating the similar process to tackle the rest of the image. I'll use a variety of different brush sizes and I'll constantly be zooming in and out of the image as needed. When I'm creating smooth colour blends it's all about using a large soft brush and adjusting it to have a low flow setting. That allows me to build up the colours more gradually and stops the shading from looking blotchy or muddy. The rendering process is always the most time consuming part of the project, so I've now condensed the next two and a half hours into two and a half minutes. There's so many ways to colour your work, every artist has their own style and preferences and hopefully this will give you some insight into how I do things.
Finally, for the background, I'm adding and editing a photo I'd taken earlier. And usually I'd spend some time at the end just tweaking colours using the Photoshop adjustment layers as well as adding subtle colour overlays. 